All right. Okay. Uh, I know it's been a few weeks since I've made one of these, so I just want to go ahead and get y'all all caught up on what's going on. Um, and I guess just post another one of these. It's been maybe two and a half weeks or so since I've posted anything, except for the fake bug video, which, by the way, I'm um, thinking about it. Um, everybody that's been watching it, thank y'all for watching it. It's, uh, all right, I'm looking at it right now. It's already got uh, almost 700 views, and it hasn't been out very long. Um, yes, I did scare Michelle with, uh, with those fake bugs. Um, it was just, I was studying for an exam, and I thought it'd be kind of fun, or a fun little trick to play on her, uh, because we're getting kind of close to Halloween. But, uh, anyway, okay, so, and she didn't get mad at me or anything. She just, uh, kind of scared a little bit, and later on she thought it was kind of funny. But, anyway, it's got a lot of views, though, 700. I'm... I'm surprised. That's a lot. I put it on break.com too, and it's gotten about uh, 200 there. So that's that's almost that's 900 views. That's a lot. That's way more than I thought people were going to be watching, it. and that's only in just about a week's amount of time. That's that's pretty awesome. Anyway, um, all right. So we've gotten through our second exam. Went really good. That means that we're finished with anatomy, and I came out with an A in anatomy, which is which is always nice. Uh, I actually got my first uh, A for course medical school. That's that's awesome. I'm very happy about that. Um, let's see what else. Uh, I made a little list here because I had several uh, people send me uh, emails over YouTube that wanted to know about different things. So I'm just going to make sure that I answer them all in case you all have any other questions and you can ask me about those too. Um, but the exam went really good. Thank you all for all the uh, the emails. Uh, saying good luck on your exam and stuff like that. That was, that was really nice. Um, it went well. Um, I guess I got the A in anatomy, which is mine now. My course three grade is an A. Um, biochemistry and cell phys went really good too. Um, I got a B plus in cell phys and a really low A in anatomy. So, uh, not, not anatomy, a really low A in, uh, biochemistry. So that, that's really nice. I'm staying up there, um, on top of everything, which makes me feel good because my studying is actually working, which is always a nice thing to know. Uh, let's see what else we've got going on. Um, so that takes care of the exam. That y'all all wanted to know how it went. Um, besides that, let's see. Interviews. Okay, I know people have already been getting uh, emails and setting up interviews for medical school. I've already heard from a few people that I went to uh, undergrad with that they've actually gotten in. Good for you. Congratulations. Um, if you're in a, If you're waiting for interview invites right now and you're applying to medical school this season, um, a good thing to know is that it's still really early if you haven't heard anything yet. The interview, based on all their spots are full, and at LSU Shreveport, I think last year, they interviewed all the way through March. Um, I interviewed in January uh, at LSU Shreveport and then got in there. I interviewed in uh, November at, at New Orleans, but um, at... Uh, LSU and Shreveport I interviewed in January, so you still have plenty of time if you haven't heard anything yet. Um, and as long as you're, you know, you need to make sure that you have your secondaries done by now for sure. It's almost November, uh, just in a few days it'll be November, and you want to make sure you have your secondaries done. But uh, I hope that kind of answers that question. Then the way interviews usually go, um, that was a good question too. I got a question about that. Uh, interviews usually go, what they do is they kind of sit you down, and at, uh, at LSU Shreveport they had a, uh, three different, you know, you have three different interviews with one person each, um, and they just, one of them is a closed book, I don't know if this is the way it is everywhere, I just know it's the way it is at mine, but I'm, I'm assuming there's similar kind of things going on everywhere, because, I mean, getting into medical school is getting into medical school, it's, you have to do the same, you have to do the same things, um, so you, you have to go sit down, uh, with them and talk to them, one of them be closed book, they won't have anything, but just your name, and they just want to get to know you as a person, uh, the other two had um, had your file right in front of you, and they could ask you anything they wanted to out of it. Uh, but at that point, they're really not trying to trip you up and like eliminate you from the list. They're more trying to see if you're a fit. See, for for them, if you're if you've been invited for an interview, you're good enough on paper for the medical school. They looked at your grades, they looked at your scores, all your transcripts, and they basically said you're good enough to come here on paper. We just want to see if you're a good fit. So I hope that kind of Calms a few people down, helps you out, kind of with uh, what you're worried about as far as medical school is concerned and interviews, um, and just go in and be yourself. You know, I mean, like they can smell if you're lying about something and BSing about something, they can smell it from a mile away. Don't do anything like that. Be yourself, and if you fit, you fit. 
good job. If you don't, just move on to the next. But they're they're really nice. If they if they're interviewing you, they want you there already. Um, okay, so I'm already at five minutes. I need to keep going, speed this up a little bit. Uh, MCAT, a good score in the MCAT, as close to a 30 as you can get. I mean, it goes all the way up to 45, and if you can get way up there, good for you, man. Congratulations, that's great. But if you get anywhere near a 30, um, that that would be a good score. Um, you know, I mean, and y'all don't have to worry about exchanging like what your scores with the people and stuff like that. Um, but if you get up around a 30, that's a good score. That's a really good score, actually. What is this? I don't know. Okay. But uh, as far as that's concerned, a 30. And just keep shooting until you get it. I know a few people that have had to take the MCAT a few different times to get up there. I didn't. I only took it one time. And I just went with the score that I got and it was good enough to get in. Uh, but if you want to get somewhere around a 30. Um, okay, so how do classes work? And Well, and I hope that helps. Um, kind of... And and you, if you have a higher MCAT and a lower GPA, you can offset one or the other. Or if you have a really high GPA and a little lower MCAT, I mean, not like, you know, like a 21 or something like that. You want to get up there in the upper 20s for sure. But if you have a higher GPA and a lower MCAT, or depending on what school you've come from. If you come from, like, Yale and you have, like, a 3.3 and you come from Yale, that's going to look a whole lot better than if you go to, like, a community college and you have, like, a 3.2 and then a whatever on your MCAT. But... Y'all are smart enough to figure all that out if you're pre-med, you've made it that far. Um, how classes work in medical school? That's that's an interesting question because I know y'all heard me talk about uh, being in this module and that module, module one, module two, three, whatever. Um, the way our schedule works is for the first semester of the semester I'm in now, since I just started, um, I'm in module one. Module one, a module is basically like a meta class at LSU. It's a big class. Um, I get, it's a big class made up of four little small classes. So you get four individual little grades add up to one big major grade. So module one is your basic sciences, which is biochemistry, cell phys, anatomy, histology, um, histology, immunology, all these basic sciences, and you do them in one semester. So you get a course grade for each one, and it adds up to your module one grade. And then module three is all the touchy-feely doctor stuff, like learning how to do a physical exam, learning how to talk to patients, how to be ethical, how not to take your patients off and get sued and stuff like that. Uh, that's module three, and it goes on for two years. It goes on for this year and for next year so that I'm ready to go as far as like interpersonal skills-wise, communicating with patients when I start doing rotations my third and fourth year. Um, module two and four are uh, organ system-based uh, things. Uh, what, what, what I mean by that is like you'll go through cardio and then you'll go through GI and you'll go through all these individual organ systems, uh, neuro, musculoskeletal, um, uh, microbiology, like your immune system and stuff like that, how that works. And you'll go through each one of these and they'll be system based and they'll be system based based on maintaining uh, homeostasis. Um, but that's, uh, that's about it with that. I think I got to everything that everybody wanted to know about. Uh, we're about to go into our third test uh, the week after Halloween. Um, so I'm starting to gear up for that at the end of this week. Um, okay, and I want to try to start one new thing, uh, that I thought might be kind of fun, uh, is, uh, on my Facebook page, uh, when I study for exams, I've come up with these really stupid jokes, basically, that I come up with because my brain's basically fried from studying, and I thought I would share maybe one of those with y'all at the end of every, uh, little YouTube broadcasting that I do. So, um, <laughs> The joke of the week this week is, um, how does pyruvate get to work? Okay. Pyruvate gets to work. How? Pyruvate gets to work by riding his Krebs cycle. Get it? He rides his Krebs cycle. Pyruvate goes in the citric acid cycle. Krebs cycle. Anyway, so that's the joke. You tell it to your friends. Hey, man, how does pyruvate get to work? Pyruvate gets to work on his Krebs cycle. All right, that's it. I'm almost out of time. Uh, y'all have any other questions, let me know. Um, and until, uh, next time. All right. Later.